is going on, everybody? It is Krieg again, and I have movie number 23. It again, just like the last one, it is a cheesy, made-for-TV, sci-fi-esque type movie. From 2017, Mississippi River Sharks. I tell you what, this movie I did enjoy more than Snakehead Swamp, which was my last one. But I'm going to wind up rating this a little bit under. Because Snakehead Swamp, their they're, they're creatures look bad. The, the sharks in this one, though, were horrible. Like, there was one scene where a guy allegedly had a shark between him and he had a hole in him. And, like, no. There was just there was just no buying. And I get it. You don't have a budget. But, you you know, like, I don't know. Like you, I think you could have got a, a made-up fake shark head or fane or something and been a lot more realistic than, than what they did. But as far as what the show was, you had a fishing competition going on. Why a bunch of bullhead sharks in the swamp. But the, the, the chef's kiss to this was they brought in Jason London as himself. The only thing that would make that better to me is if they brought in Jason London as Jeremy or Jeremy as Jason, because that would be, you know, inside baseball stuff, I suppose. And he was an arrogant, you know, he was the guy who, essentially he was Ian Zeering. You know, not saying Ian Zeering is arrogant, I don't know the dude, maybe, maybe not. But he was essentially Ian Zeering from Sharknados. Uh, but they also did like a little Halloween reference in there because he was talking about how he was in all these, I forget the shark, the name, the name shark something, shark bite maybe. He was in all the shark bites except three and everyone's like, oh, three was the best. Or he's like, I don't count three. So very Halloween-esque with that whole thing, I suppose. Um, but, no, but you have a guy who owns a shop, his daughter, who is a very brilliant scientist studying in science, but she wants to come back and help him. You know, the knowledgeable reporter intuitively said, well, maybe she's doing it because she's scared. Just to, anyway, so she went back to science afterwards. It was fine for what it was, you know, a shark attack movie. You know, there were some fun setup kills, but they also added things that didn't make, I wasn't needed. Like, you had, the, you had the character who was in the fishing competition who was cheating, like hiding salmon boxes uh, out and then grabbing them. Like, I fishing competition monitor for stuff like that. You should be able to know that stuff. Plus, you should be able to tell when fish was frozen, but I used to actually work with seafood um, back in the day before I entered academia and being a, pro a professor. But he died. The annoying mayor type guy died who ignored the fact that, hey, by the way, all these sharks attacked the Mississippi Riverboat. Um, it, was, it was dumb, this movie. Uh, some of the characters, though, acted as if it was a real movie. Uh, so I give him credit for that, and hell, they definitely do more acting than I've ever done or ever will do, so kudos to that. But the, like I said, the celebrity element was cool because he was being a little biatch, uh, and, you know, he got what you would expect he would, he would get. He wasn't a, this wasn't the Jason London show, um, but he was in it for about half the movie, I suppose, and it was a little ironic how he died. You know, he finally was going to man up, and, well, oop. I guess the moral of that is, is if, you're, if you're scared, stay scared, you might live. Because when you all of a sudden act brave, buff out your chest, bad things happen. I did scan through the names of all the actors and actresses in this. I don't, none of them popped out other than Jason Rundin. And I'll be honest, I don't even know if Jason Rundin pops out, because I don't know who I see in the movies I watch. Is it Jeremy? Is it Jason? Freaking identical twins are tough. Um, but I know I saw one of them in several movies, including, obviously. More lats, which is probably the, you know, the, the London's high best achievement, in my opinion. Uh, but, this is going to get, yeah, this is going to get 3.5. I mean, it's going to get 3.5 because the CGI was so bad. Uh, so, I, I can't go better than that. And even that might be being generous. But, again, the rules are different, as I said last video, for the sci-fi type movies. If you like water creatures attacking people, it, it's exactly what you want. You know, it's quick, it's, you know, it's it, you're not going to think much about it after you watch it, but to have on for an hour and a half or so, you know, it fills the void. Uh, but that's it, folks. I'm going to let you go. We're up to 23. I'm going to try to get, I would love to get 25 set. Let, let me know what you think of this whole me setting them to preview each day now. I don't know. I've never done that before, and we're going to see what happens. Um, you know, like, I don't want to just keep dropping a ton at once when I do them. Uh, but I also know if I just have them loaded and saying, I'll probably forget to get around to it. So I'm really doing that for me, again, more than anything else. But that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. Again, suggestions, feel free to throw them down in the comments. Till we meet again, peace.